everyone, it's uh, Tim with Ghost Towns of Washington, and today we are in the Kaliella Mining District, and we are headed up to a uh, 1930s era mine called the Silver Creek Mine, which is a gold and silver property. So uh, we're happy to have you along, and we hope you enjoy uh, what we have to show you this afternoon. We're coming up on some of the lower adits, um, the tailings and waste dumps. Most of these um, were bulldozed or closed up um, in the mid 90s to mid 2000s. But we're gonna take a look just to see if uh, there's anything around this dump. So let's uh, take a walk up and see. So we can see kind of from here where the adit probably was, but it looks like it's one of the sealed ones. But we'll, uh, we'll take a closer look. So this one, oh, there's more tailings right over there. Definitely closed up, but we'll uh, continue up here. This is an old miner's trail. So this area has gotten a lot more activity. Um, over the years, they've done a lot of work on the Forest Service roads and people can get out further than they used to. So they did a lot of work out here, uh, gating and closing a lot of these mines, but we'll see if we get lucky and find one here. So this one it might be. possibly has promise. No um, well, unfortunately, it's completely closed up as well. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look around here. Uh, if we find something on these lowers, we'll let you know. But then we're gonna uh, head up uh, towards the uppers and some of the uh, former structures that are there. So one of the cool features as far as minerals out here is there's all this serpentine. So you have these hillsides that are just completely this green serpentine and it's everywhere but it's it's really amazing looking stuff we're probably a little over a quarter of the way up not quite half so once we get to the end of the uh, remainder of this mine to market road then we're gonna have to find a way across the creek and get on the other side and then continue up. And we should hopefully be up at the mining area here shortly. But regardless, um, it's a beautiful area to come and explore. All right, we'll see uh, further up the trail. So 
so we're coming into the uh, area of the mine. If you look right forward and up, you can see the uh, ruins of either part of the mill structure or possibly an ore bunker. And we'll get closer here. And then further up the trail there, you can see the mound of a waste dump right in front of us. Now, we kind of know that this area um, was sealed off pretty good as far as the mines. Uh, the upper mine up here is gated, so we're not expecting to find a whole lot in terms of tunnel, but there's some cool artifact features up here and collapsed building structures that kind of make it worthwhile of checking it out. So um, we'll get up here a little bit. We'll take a look at this uh, collapsed structure and then continue up to uh, where the uh, upper mine was. So there was a mill up here. Um, I'm not sure if this is 100% the mill site. Um, it's probable it was. But there's not too much left other than a bunch of downed timbers here from the structure. So we'll see if we can swing around and get a little higher up on it and, and come back around and look at it um, from a different angle. And there's some uh, equipment and whatnot that's supposed to be still up here. So we'll go see if we can find that. So we'll see you uh, um, at the top of the hill here. So we're up above here uh, where the mill site is what I'm pretty sure this was. Um, was. And see what's left of it. So we're going to swing around over here and you can see all this quartz and this was all from the mine. Um, there's some piles of it I believe up further. So as we come up here we're getting close to the uh, lower portion where you go up to the upper at it. I think this might have been it's either a compressor or a crusher. There it is, St. Louis. And then there was this makeshift chute that they had, and they ran the ore down it from the upper at it, which is up here as I pan up. So we'll figure out how to get up there and take a look. Like I said, this uh, this upper is gated. Um, it had a winds in it. And so the Forest Service um, gated a lot of the mines that were fairly accessible out here. So, but still an interesting area to see with some of the artifacts and whatnot that are out here. And down here, um, there's a remnants of another structure see if we can find out more about that and we'll put it in uh, down below and then you can see some of the waste dumps over here so we'll kind of make our way this way first then we'll circle back around to that upper at it so we're above the mine to market road it kind of wrapped up here to this upper site so we walk over here, we can look down on the old mine to market road from these waste dumps. And you can just see that most of this was serpentine.
down here you can see on this dump pile there's some rail and as we uh, kind of leave the area we'll we'll take a look at that going down and then we're looking back down the valley we came up So we're coming back across the uh, upper mine to market road or what's left of it, more of a trail. And we talked about kind of the remnants of the structure down here. So we're going to make our way up this uh, little switchback trail and get ourselves all the way up there. Okay, so we're going to scramble and get up to the upper and we'll see you up there in a few. So we're part way up the waste dump and got another view of that ore chute. All right, so now we're just gonna continue up this way and we'll be at the top here momentarily. So if memory serves correct for my last visit, and it was several years back, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this was the gated attic, and it's just completely collapsed. Um, and you can't really tell any longer that it was gated. So uh, no tunnels for this site, but again, there's still some neat things to see here, some cool artifacts. Um, equipment. We're going to kind of go down below, look at some of that mine rail. I believe there's an engine um, also along the creek uh, lower. So we're going to go down and look at that as well. But uh, regardless of mines or no mines, um, it's still a great area. Um, the views are, again, spectacular. Um, you can't beat the views up here. And there's some cool history still to find up here and again another shot down the waste dump down to the uh, ore chute so we're going to make our way back down and see what else we can show you So while we're here, we can't uh, help but make sure the uh, old ore chute works. So we're gonna uh, give it a run here and see uh, how it does. And it looks like it still serves its purpose. Okay, so we're headed back down the trail and the mine to market road. Uh, we're gonna drop below these waste dumps. Um, Take a look at the old rail it's laying up against them and then head back down the mine to market road and take a look at the what looks to be an engine down there so we'll see what uh, what we got down here
So here is that uh, serpentine that we saw down below. I know um, a large portion of this upper adit was driven in serpentine. And if you're a uh, rock hound, it's pretty, pretty cool looking stuff. So the road, and there isn't much left up here of it. Um, it's pretty much been a feeder stream, storm runoff. So we'll make our way into this thing and find our way down. So over here we have some rail. It's always kind of fun to see, maybe not exciting to everyone, but we like rusty old rail. Somewhere right up here, just a little bit down on the left, there is an old motor. And it's right below the mill structure right there, or what's left of it. And here's the motor, or engine, if you prefer. 